Las Islas Sulu, en el sur de las Filipinas, son el escenario de graves enfrentamientos entre clanes rivales que cada año provocan numerosos muertos. En esta zona también está activo Abu Sayyaf, un grupo terrorista de matriz islámica afiliado al Estado Islámico. Sistemáticamente olvidado por parte de las autoridades centrales de Manila, este archipiélago cerca de Borneo intenta hacer frente a estas plagas sociales a través de sus propios hijos. Con la ayuda de organizaciones locales e internacionales, la Marina de las Filipinas lanzó hace algunos años un ambicioso programa que se sirve de fútbol para atraer a los más jóvenes y alejarlos de las armas, las venganzas y las ideologías extremistas. Uh, Football for Peace is actually changing the mindset of the people, particularly the children, in conflict areas. Uh, we started this one in 2011. I came to realize that one day, when we just we are just playing football uh, as our pastime, uh, I, I I was able to see that kids could be part in solving the conflict in Sulu. I conceptualize the Football for Peace program not because I want them to become a good football player but I just want them to see the goodness and how they could how we could empower children to be part in conflict uh, resolutions on how they could solve conflict in their community on their own because for us as military we are not fixed in their place they are the one to make their community progress they are the one to make their community uh, peaceful and they are the one to build their own community we are just here to be drivers we are just here to be Uh, to connect them with people that would be willing to help improve their lives. That's why football? Football is not familiar in this place. We don't have football field in Sulu. Children are not playing football. They play basketball, they play volleyball. They are good volleyball players, they are good basketball players. And football, they don't have any skill. And why football? Introducing a new, a new sport, a game, that is somehow uh, not familiar, could give them interest. That's why when we just playing football in one of the field, In one of the schools, children were being interested. Oh, what are you playing about? We, we told them we're playing football. We told them that this is a, a soccer game, when you say soccer game, and we lend them the one ball. And that time when we lend them our balls, we never get back our balls because many of the children were already kicking the balls and when we try to get it, no more. En esta región todavía está muy difundido el rido, un antiguo sistema de sangrientas venganzas entre familias rivales. Robos y homicidios se encuentran entre las principales razones que desencadenan el rido, fortalecido por la proliferación de armas y la ausencia de autoridad. A esto se suma Abu Sayyaf, un grupo paramilitar islámico que desde hace tres décadas lucha contra el gobierno central y cuyo objetivo es crear una entidad panislámica en el sudeste asiático. La organización terrorista antes vinculada a Al-Qaeda y ahora afiliada al Estado Islámico, es conocida por extorsiones, secuestros, decapitaciones y bombardeos. Coming from different barangays, different villages, they come together to have a festival. And with the, the frequent clan family feuds and clan wars here, they meet families fighting each other they meet in football fields that time so it it really helped us to resolve conflict between warring families because one village from other village 
converged in one football field and they were able to see each other and talk. And their children were fighting in the football field, the new battlefield. We are not on the battlefield fighting using our guns, but we use the bolts as our weapons. And that is getting these kids to be part of the solution of the problem, which is conflict. Speak in that very moment, my life has found it. My life has found it. Missing peace. So as long as I live, I love you. Will heaven hold you? You look so beautiful in a white. And from now to my very last breath, this day I'll cherish. You look so beautiful in white tonight. Wow. <laughs>